For the past 36 years, the sport of kings comes to Pittsburgh. Thanks to the family house polo match, men and women mount their horses to play the game while spectators line the field with exquisite tailgates, vintage cars, and other fun, fashionable stuff. So it's all to raise money for a great cause, family house in Pittsburgh. And the ponies take to the field for this year's Family House Polo Match this Saturday at Hartwood Acres. And we are live this morning to find out what goes in to for the match. We are live at a horse farm in Apollo. Mikey Hood is there where the ponies are warming up. Hey, Mikey. Selena David, we are live at Travesty Farms getting a sneak peek behind what happens at the Family, the family House Polo Match and the play up uh, polo is one of the oldest team sports in in the country and these two teams are going to duke it out this weekend i'm here with jennifer march Hi. and she is with family house and so tell me what family house is before we get into sure. the polo match sure so when you buy a ticket to the polo match you are supporting Family House. And what Family House provides is a home away from home for people who are traveling to Pittsburgh for medical care. So these are people who have to leave their own home and come to a strange city and need a comfortable, supportive environment where they can stay so they don't have to worry about that while they're getting medical treatment or their loved one is getting medical treatment at one of our world-class hospitals here. And I'm sorry, you, it, there's, there's a big need for this type of service, correct? There's a big need for this type of service. As you know, Pittsburgh pulls a lot of medicine, a lot of uh, uh, acute medical situations. Patients get sent to us from all over the world, all over the country. And we serve 25,000 people every single year. Um, and there are more people that continue to come to us. Well, well, great work that you do. So let's talk about the actual polo match because I like to know do I wear? Oh that's, that's what I'm thinking of. This is critically important. So what I love to say to people is you can wear whatever you want. My advice is go to our Facebook page, Family House's Facebook page, and you'll see pictures from what people wear to polo every year. Some people dress like me and pretend. Some people get all decked out like Kentucky Derby style, and some people come in shorts and a flannel shirt. So you can wear whatever you want, but go to our Facebook page and you'll see the pictures. Oh, yeah, I love to see the big hats, too. Yeah, that's my I favorite part. Hats. We oh. also have a... Um, an auction tent where we sell hats and we sell accessories. So you can get further dressed up when you come to polo too. Oh, fun. And so what actually happens at the match? So what happens at this event is obviously there's a polo match and it's the center of the event. Um, but in addition to the polo match, we've got auction tents, we have food trucks, we've got champagne and beer and wine tasting and that sort of thing. We've got a kid's tent for young families. Um, but there's a polo match and Libby, who's our great announcer, she will teach you, she'll tell you everything that you're watching. If you're not expert, which most of us aren't, um, she will tell you everything that you're looking at. She likes to call it hockey on horses. Oh. Hockey on horses, I like that. And so the one activity that really intrigued me was the stomping, the stomping of the divots. Yeah. I kind of feel like that's a whole pretty woman moment. Yeah, for sure. And it's a wonderful tradition. So polo, the family house polo match is almost as old as the organization itself. And we are 36 years old. Um, so this is a wonderful tradition at halftime. Everybody is invited onto the field to stomp the divots. And that's important because the divots are created by the horse's hooves. And so we don't want the horses tripping at the second half of the match. So it's important to stomp the divots, but it's also a ton of fun. Well, Jennifer, let's walk over to Kate here. She is one of, she's actually a polo player, clearly. <laughs> so tell us about playing the game. It's a lot of fun, isn't it? Uh, polo is the most fun I've ever had on horses, and it's a really good family game. Everyone can play, kids, adults, doesn't matter if you're rich or if you're poor, everyone can find a place for polo. So that's why it's really fun because it brings everyone together. I'm seeing a lot more women play polo now across the U.S. Why is that? You know, I think a lot of women are looking for something new and something fun to do. And it's a team sport that you can all do together. And I think that's what women really like because they can come together and do it with their friends. And yeah, it's really fun. Exciting. And so, Kate, what can people expect at the polo match? Lots of fun, I'm sure. Lots of fun. And what, what I love about this event is we bring about 2,000 people out to Hartwood Acres every year. And you can make polo whatever it is you want that day to look like for you. So the gates open at 10 o'clock. The match starts at 1 o'clock. And it's over around 4 o'clock. And during the day, you can walk around. You can drink champagne. You can go to the food trucks. Or you can tailgate out of your car. Bring your own food and drinks. Or you can have a tent erected and catered. So it's all across the gamut. 
Oh, thanks so much, Jennifer. It sounds like you can kind of create your own event, it's it seems like. Day. It's the easiest day of fun. Yeah. All right. Thanks so much, Jennifer. And so the family family house polo match is September 14th. It's at Hartward Acres, and it's for a good cause. So come on out and stomp the divots. We'll send it back to you guys. <laughs> I love it. I love the Stomp the Divots. That's what I knew too from Pretty from Woman. Pretty Woman, yeah. yeah. Such a good movie. Mm. Thanks, Mikey. Love it. <laughs> Thanks, Mikey.